Hey guys, it's um, boy number 63, and today I'm here to interview some of my Pokemon, I mean not my Pokemon, but just my Amiibos, who will be showing up in the Great Amiibo War. Do we understand? I believe so. Okay, let's get to it. We're going to start off with Mewtwo. So now we have him here. It's going to be more of me just explaining him first. Okay, so Mewtwo is going to have a real tragic, kind of like somewhat of a tragic backstory. Not really too tragic, but it's semi-tragic. He's a very god personality. He thinks himself as god. He loves himself a lot. He loves himself a lot. He just loves himself so much that he thinks he's a god. He's so powerful, he literally thinks he's a god. You'll be seeing that through all, every episode he's in. He's going to say something like god or godly. Or I'm a god, you work for a god. It doesn't matter. He's a, he thinks himself as a god. Now, Pac-Man. Well, Pac-Man is kind of just a silly kid. That's why his voice is like how it is. He's just a kid. He doesn't really know right or wrong. He doesn't really... He's just confused a lot. He doesn't really have much to him. He hasn't really decided on everything yet. He just... A main character who changes a lot throughout the story. It's just gonna happen. Now, Sonic the Hedgehog. He's a very excited character who wants to get everything done as fast as possible. He, if he misses anything that could be, he could have gone to, he's gonna get mad at himself. He's gonna get mad. But he's always so excited. So excited about everything. It's just how he is. Ganondorf. We all know he's really angry in my series so far. He's going to be shown as a very angry guy. Very evil, of course, because he is the Demon King. A little hint that you'll see. King Longtail beat him. King Longtail. Lucario's father. That will be explained in the next episode that he did beat him. Why Gandalf has his youth and Longtail does not? Why does Gandalf always stay young? And Link always has to be a new one. That's my explanation for that. Here's Lucario. You haven't seen him yet. I'm not really going to explain much. He's a prince. He prefers to be called Lord. Most people actually don't know him how he's a prince. Well, Pac-Man doesn't. But he's a very good guy. He's nice to people. He's blue. That's kind of important. A little bit. Point is, he's going to be a lot of Lucarios in this series. And he's Lord Lucario. This is the female Inkling, or now known as Alex. That's going to be her name. Deci decided by the character person who's playing her. I give it her and the female inkling, I mean the male inkling, the actors the chance to pick the name. So, hers is Alex. She's the bodyguard of Lucario. She really wants to be protected. This is her main goal. Never let anyone hurt her. Never gonna let anyone touch him. Protect him completely. Now let's get on to her brother, the male inkling, Louis. Louis. Why can't I say Louis? I don't know why not. Point is, he works for Mewtwo. He's not really his bodyguard, he's just... He's just his, like, assassin. He'll kill people. He's a sharpshooter. Just kills people for the heck of it. He's really crazy. He likes to pull out his sister's weaknesses a lot when they meet. You're gonna like him. Uh, do we have any more characters? Let me see. Not really any more characters out of now besides the evil dragon, which... That's a whole other backstory. I'm not even getting into that in that video. Otherwise, I have some characters that are going to be showing up, but you are not going to be seeing. These guys might show up. Jigglypuff, Charizard, and Greninja. And three of them might just have something to do with Lucario, Rob, even. And Mewtwo. You guys are going to like that. So I'll explain more things in other onboards, but see you guys next time. Bye-bye.